tell us how you've been going through the pandemic. What's what's how it's developed in your life? You, you just decided you, you decided to reopen yeah. again. Is that correct in June? Yep. So, yeah, I mean, like everybody like back in March, you know, two weeks to flatten the curve. I'm like, OK, we can do that. Yeah. Um, and but probably like you, again, not many people. And, and it's, this is not meant to shame anyone, by the way, because if you don't know, you don't know. But the minute they started enforcing lockdowns in Uganda, uh, Kenya, Nepal, Haiti, th there's no refrigerators to store food. There's no government check yeah. coming. And they, you know, they shut down public transportation overnight. So we were immediately knew that our people and by that point, the UN, you can find these on, you know, they didn't put them on the front page because they were too busy trying to scare us. But on the huh. back pages, you can find articles about you know, 20 million children starving to death, not because of the COVID, but because of the, the economic crisis That's of truth. it. And so, so we began wow. immediately, we, we, we put a war room together in our church and said, look, okay, all bets are off. Um, I, I don't know what is coming, but I know this, that we are not going to shrink back. We are, uh, in, in times like this, hospitals expand their services, grocery stores expand, yeah. everybody. So for us to shrink yeah. was not an option. And, um, Brilliant. And what we figured figured out, Philip, um, because it, we had to ask the question I think every church has to ask, which is, are we essential? Um, we, we didn't go for the question of, do we have religious liberty? That's a question that's, that's worth asking for sure. Yeah. But our question was, but are we essential? Like what makes us essential to come together? Um, what makes it maybe a better way of yeah. what makes it worth the, the quote unquote risk? And we figured out over the last 10 years, our church gives away about 50%, actually right at 50% of our gross revenues goes into global mission. Fine. And I looked back and realized that of when we do that kind of, of presentation, uh, tell That's the essential. stories <laughs> on Sundays, uh, it literally will triple the impact of the finances when we do it. And so we were like, okay. And we did, we started, we said, okay, in June, we're going to do this um, safe and sensible. Um, but we are, it is worth the risk. And we started uh, in June and in, in literally in 2020, a million, I think it's right at 1.1 million went through our church for global mission of which at least half, if not two thirds of it came from our Sunday gatherings directly. That's um, someone joked that we're like going to church at a GoFundMe. Um, we should have called the church <laughs> GoFundMe. But, but but I just thought, you know, our children in Nepal, like they, sure. they need us you. to get this right, you know.